So UAG does make some pretty good cases for phones, and today we're going to be checking out their screen protector for the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now this screen protector here says it's two times strengthened. It has an anti-reflective coating as well as an antimicrobial coating. And you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing a scratch and a drop test to see how durable the screen protector really is and whether or not it's worth your time. So let's get started. So we get one screen protector, an installation guide, and an installation packet. So first clean off the screen, dry it off, then take your guide, making sure that the top portion of the guide goes towards the camera on the phone. We'll just press this in place. Then take your screen protector, we're going to peel off the bottom plastic portion, and then just let this rest inside the guide. It should adhere to your phone. Once it's done, Push down on your phone and lift up on the guide. And then we'll just give it another wipe. Let's take a closer look. Looks pretty good. I don't see any bubbles. I don't see any lifting. It does seem to have a pretty good gap all the way around the phone, so it should be case compatible. As far as touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. As far as touch, feels pretty smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. As far as fingerprints goes, it does seem to pick up some fingerprints, but you can easily just wipe those away. Now this is a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your camera and your dynamic island. So let's test out our Face ID. Face ID works fine. It is nice and clear. Touch working fine. Let's test out our camera. And as you can see, it's perfectly fine, nice and clear. The edges of the glass are also rounded off, so they're nice and smooth. Now let's put it in a case. It does seem to be case friendly, even though it's in the case, there is still a slight gap all the way around the edge of the phone, which is nice. And I don't see any lifting. So, so far so good. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. All right, so we're gonna be dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at two feet. Here we go at three feet. So this screen protector only lasted up until a three foot drop and I definitely wouldn't say that that's two times stronger. That's almost some of the worst drop protection that I've seen so far. So now let's move on to the scratch test. First, we're gonna start off with a number five and move on to a number six, and then a number seven. So if we look a little closer, we can see that there are no scratches at the number five. There are light at a number six and a little deeper at a number seven. So at least scratch protection is pretty standard for tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was really easy. It also does seem to be case friendly, but unfortunately drop protection is some of the worst that I've seen, but scratch protection is pretty standard for other tempered glass. So based on that, I probably would not recommend the screen protector because there are better out there and I'm going to give this a thumbs down. Now, if you guys do still wanna purchase this, again, I will be putting product links in this video's description. And I'd also recommend checking out my best and worst cases video for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If it's not out yet, it will be soon. And if you want to watch it, just click on the video you see on your screen right now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.